Hello everyone and welcome to Quick Tips from Horse Ranch. So today we are looking at nectar making. So here off to the right I have my nectar making office and I've got my character uh, case in here. Uh, one of the horses has come over to say hello. So we're just going to tell him a joke. And uh, yeah, so here is my little office and it's in the middle of all my crops here. So for nectar making, it comes down to skill as to uh, what you need. So it is by skill level here, so one through two, five. And you want to start by growing apple and grapes. Those are your two starter fruits that you'll need for your nectar making. You can move on to strawberries and potatoes of all things. <laughs> uh, and then prairie grass and trash nectar. Now prairie grass is amazing, so make sure that you have that on your lot and that you're harvesting that daily. That's really important. Because you can quite often get uh, nectar nectar from that as well so energy nectar which is lemon and any herb so make sure you've got your lemon trees and uh, just any any herbs like your parsley or your basil uh, and then on to the vitality nectar so this is where you need the death flower of all things and spinach so to create a death flower what you need is to uh, graft your apple and cherry together to get pomegranate and then you need to graft your lily and snapdragon to get an orchid and then you graft your orchid and your pomegranate together smush it together and then you get your death flower so that's how you get to the vitality nectar berry nectar any berry and uh, fruit nectar just any fruit so those are the main things that you need to focus on for when you are setting up your garden or nectar because obviously you want to have a garden growing because that makes it a free enterprise rather than having to buy ingredients all the time and then it kind of makes it pointless. Well, it doesn't make it pointless, but you make less profit that way. And what you want to have is a little basement area set up for your storage of your nectar. So you get these lovely rancher stackable nectar storage racks and you can put 13 bottles in per storage rack. So storing it down in a basement and in a storage rack does speed up the aging process. So uh, let's have a look at my nectar bottles that I have in here. So here I've got a moderately aged bottle. So the next level from that will be a finely aged, which is when you want to sell your, sell your nectar. Uh, from here, so lightly aged, moderately aged again, and not yet aged. So it goes not yet aged, lightly aged, moderately aged, finely aged, I believe. I don't think I'm not wrong on that. <laughs> I've done enough uh, nectar making now that I think that's that's correct so you have your four levels of aging for uh, for your nectar and when it gets to finely aged that is when you want to sell it because that's when you make the most money quite interesting because I noticed that like even like uh, the and with the skill level one the apple nectar doesn't make as much money as the grape nectar even though it's the same skill level so yeah different nectars make a different amount of money but I, I I haven't got to level 5 yet or level 4, but I assume that those will make even more money and you can get pretty rich pretty quick. Uh, we're talking thousands per bottles, so yeah, it's not too bad. I do recommend if you are running a horse ranch and trying to horse breed and train, as well as doing the nectar making, that you have at least two to three sims. Two at the minimum, I think you have one concentrating on the nectar and one concentrating on the horses because it's a lot of work to train the horses up and uh, actually nectar making is quite a bit of work as well because you've got the gardening and, and bits and pieces on top. But of course you can use the uh, manure from the horsies to uh, fertilize your garden, so it's very handy. I actually have a gardener employed as well as having uh, my sim working on the garden. I just make that, that just makes life so much easier to have someone coming in uh, once a day, five times a week just to help me out in the garden because it's a lot to take care of because it's quite a lot of gardening <laughs> as you can see there you don't need to have all of this obviously you can have it as much as much or as little as you like but I'm going extremely hardcore on the old nectar making but as you can see I mean you need three apples three grapes three strawberries I mean three of each so you go through it pretty quickly and then you get to here you got uh, lemon and any herb so it's a mixture of three anyway and running down so you do go through all the garden stuff pretty quickly 
anyway thank you for watching i hope uh this helped you so make sure that you have your nectar stack and uh, nectar storage uh, and put it down in the basement so it ages quicker and don't sell it until it is finely aged you won't regret it thanks for watching and i'll catch you in the next video bye